Hey guys, this is Machnor, and I'm going to be talking about magic spells online and occult rituals and spells in the next video. If this isn't your cup of tea, then go through the rest of my playlist, watch some videos that you probably haven't listened to before, or rewatch some, whatever floats your boat. But this video, I'm going to be talking about online spells and what I think of them. And for me, it's a generally gray area. But it's a really tough gray area for me because I do believe and I do acknowledge that, you know, online that rituals and spells can and should be shared and published online and, you know, spread and spread out and educate and like, like, um, just put out there for some people to come across, educate themselves with or practice, you know, to keep, whether it's like a dying tradition or something or some type of dying practice that is rarely practiced anymore, whether it's to revive that or whether it's to preserve it, I do believe in that. However, one of the many reasons I'm against, one of the many reasons I dislike online spells as well is because, in my opinion, 75% of the spells online, of the spells and rituals online out there are bullcrap. And the reason I say that is because of spellsofmagic.com. Like, it's not even specifically the, like, it's not specifically the site itself, but it's one of many sites, and I think spellsofmagic.com is the most popular site. Like, 75%, I'd go as far as 85% of the spells and rituals on there are complete and utter crap. Made up by trolls or role players or people that are just simply just wannabes, in my opinion. And one of the many reasons I feel is crap is because, like, the whole website is heavily saturated with transformation spells. H2O mermaid transformation spells, Twilight vampire transformation spells, vampire diaries transformation spells, vampire diaries werewolf transformation spells, Twilight werewolf transformation spells, underworld werewolf transformation spells, hybrid transformation spells, ice dragon transformation spells. The list goes on and on and on, and it's just like, it, to me, it is just ridiculous because after after you come across like seventy five to eighty five percent of crap, or, or you know, after you come across seventy five to eighty five percent of stuff that you find is legit crap, you begin to get tired of looking for the legitimate thing itself, and you begin to give up the search. And I, that's how I feel in. In some people's cases, that's what happens. Like, they look for legitimate, good spells, authentic spells, and all they come across is generic and mediocre, crappy, made-up online spells, and they just give up the search. And I, I, I can't... Like, usually with the transformation spells, that's usually to cater towards, like, young teenagers, like, in their early teens or tweens, and... And some people are naive enough to try out these spells or believe that they work. And I, I don't know, like, to me it's just ridiculous because Spells of Magic is one of the most well-visited websites, I think, when it comes to spells and magic and occult and stuff like that. It's one of those more popular, well-visited sites. And to me, in my opinion, it's just like um, my physical shape-shifting video I made earlier. Like, um, earlier on this month or some sometime before, if any of these spells were legitimate, if any of these spells, any of these transformation spells work, worked, wouldn't you think by now there would be some type of reports or some type of, some type of news or something or some type of signs that somebody, that people possess these abilities? Because I'm, I can guarantee no matter how good people think they are at concealing themselves and their abilities and whatnot, there's always slip-ups, irregardless of whatever anyone thinks, there's always slip-ups here and there. So, and, and, like, some of these spells just don't make no sense. Like, hybrid overnight, instant vampire, instant werewolf, um, summoning an ice dragon. I'm like, no, no, if, if any of these things were even true. Like, how does one transform genetically from one species to another in an hour? How does one summon a creature like that and just not leave any type of signs or evidence? Or it just doesn't make any sense. And on a site as popular as Spells of Magic, like, there's probably, like, a thousand people practicing these same exact spells. And I, I doubt, I doubt it. I just really doubt it. But, um, 
I, I don't know. Like, for me, it's always been this. That there's just... That, in my opinion, I don't believe in looking up... I don't believe, in most cases, looking up online spells. Because most of them are generic and mediocre and made up. I believe if you really want an authentic spell, you are better off creating your own. You're better off doing research into what effects you want to achieve, um, incantations and like incantations, ingredients, studying and studying and learning all the parts of a ritual and spell and creating what you want. It's basically, in my opinion, what makes a spell authentic. It's the fact that you put in effort and you put in time, you put in devotion and emotion into this spell or ritual that you created and that gives it meaning to you. And you can't find that type of meaning online by looking at some copy and pasted spell on spells or magic. That's that's just my take on it. And as people who believe in these spells on spells or magic and try these transformation spells, I'm not gonna bash them. Like I, although I do believe it's naive, I do think that some of us have been there. Some of us have have made some mistakes in the past and I'm not gonna hold it against people that have actually tried those spells. Because you know, curiosity is something and i always do think that one should at least try but this is makinor like comment subscribe i'm out